Okay, this is my third and possibly final attempt to try to make a video. First time my computer froze and second time the output file uh, errored up. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to put themes on your Wii using SoftMe. Now first off, you're going to want to install SoftMe on your Wii or just at least have it on your SD card. And then we're going to go to a repository. And there's a link over in the description. And we have lots here, like Windows XP, Dark Wii, which is the one I have now, and Lime. And we have lots, a whole lot. Paper Mario, Final Fantasy, Metal Gear Solid, um, Family Guy, Wolverine. There's a lot of themes here. Anyway. So, I'm going to try uh, Windows XP, I guess. So, right here is Windows XP team. And artist was Jim Zo. And then we have 3.2 4.0. Now, this here refers to whichever version system menu you have. My version is 3.2, so I'm going to click 3.2. And I'm going to save the file to desktop. There's also, you can click right here, and it says video here. And we click, and this person put up a video of what the team is going to look like on YouTube. Okay, so, done for internet for now. Then we have Windows XP 2.mym. The .mym is just a standard type of, I can say, file and then in which it can be converted to whatever version you have if it's PAL or NTSC so in order to do this you have to open up my menu you also find this online it's not very hard and then source and MIM file the MIM file is the file that we just downloaded so I'm just going to go and double click that and the source could be a couple of things. You have six zeros, then you have two numbers that app. My two numbers are 42, but that is because I am on a NTSC American Wii. I'm running on a 3.2 system menu. Now, for instance, if you're running on a PAL Wii on version 4.0, your code might be six zeros and then 75. That app. But you have to obtain this. I'm not even sure how I obtained mine. If I do figure out how I obtained it, then I'll be sure to put a video up. But anyways, double click my source. The source, by the way, is the standard system menu. Then we have file name. So we're just going to give it a quick XP name. We're going to rename it now in a second anyway. Alright, so right here is the new output. Just XP. We're going to rename that same as the source. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. 42.app. Now, after the app, notice I'm not putting any spaces or anything in. That is when you name your theme. So I'll name it Windows XP. Then we go to our SD card, and we go to our SoftMe folder. You see I already have a couple themes on here, such as an XP theme, a Dark Wii theme, and a Line theme. So all I have to do really is click and drag. Moves over. And I'm not sure why I moved that over, I already have a Windows XP theme on here, but... For the sake of showing you, I'll move it over anyway. Now you have to eject SD card and head over to the Wii. Okay, so we are at the Wii now. And you notice now how I have the dark me uh dark Wii theme installed. Everything is right nice and dark and 
Mm, looks like a pretty decent team in general. I like it. Metroid Prime Trilogy. Yay. Collector's Edition. Anyway, back to the subject. We're going to go into the homebrew channel. SD card is already inserted and is ready to go. Okay, and so the homebrew channel loads up. And I'm not going to update right now. You see, I have lots of applications. But the application you're going to look for is the Soft Me Tweak Toy, which is right here. You load. Then we have Soft Me 2.0. There is 3.0 out now, but I haven't had time to update. And here are all the themes. You have Windows XP right here, the Dark Wii Lime and XP. And so you're just going to press plus on whichever one you want. No, oh, sorry, A on whichever one you want. And it installs. May take a few moments to install, but okay, install okay. So once you're back at the screen and you already have your theme installed, you press the home button. And then we return to the system menu. Now I use preloader, so I don't get the startup screen, I turn the startup screen off. But as you can see, we have this channel and the homebrew channel, and the cursor is like a mouse arrow. And we have little tiny things like Microsoft Word pictured here. I don't know if the laptop can read it. Look how there, and the Windows logo is there. MSN, the MSN people, I'll say. <laughs> and, you know, it's very friendly. But, uh, what some people like to do. They like to just say, have, I'll just take three channels for instance, and put three channels there. And then this here will be called like the desktop. And, you know, you have your today message. And, you know, you can move that around just like normal. And, no, memo. The memo looks like a window too, just so you know. And what some people like to do is when you click on start, it's like you have a drop down menu. See that? It's like you have a drop down menu when you click the start button. And you do have your time. The time is right here. Time is usually right here in the middle, but somehow they managed to put it down in the corner. I'm not sure how. And anyways, that ends the tutorial. Thanks for watching, rate, comment, etc.